Here is my Marvel draw cut saw, number two. Uh, they're also known as a power hacksaw. Uh, this one is flat belt driven. It's around 1910-1920 in that area. It was last used around 1948. I found it in an abandoned machine shop that had fallen down and most of the other equipment was gone or pretty bad shape. And This one was still pretty good. The roof had protected it. Uh, the owner let me take it to get it working again. And took quite a bit of work. It was locked up. Had to make some new bushings for it. And we'll take a little look here. I just have it set up on my little flat belt motor here to test it and everything. These work quite nice. Uh, they make a pretty straight cut unlike a bandsaw which can waver a little and give you a kind of crooked end cut that you know you have to machine but these uh, these work pretty nice and right now I have a gear reduction motor for the flat belt so it's turning it a little slower than what it should be but eventually it will be on my line shaft I'm still working on the tension eccentric which is right down here on the ground which controls the amount of tension that the blade has I have to make one more part for it and we'll take a little look see here of it just welded up some legs for the table and this one, whoop, this one has a built-in clutch so it will idle you can engage it and we'll get her started here once alright we set the camera down All right. There we go. Now we'll engage the clutch. We'll raise her up here. There we go. See the arm working. All right, now we'll lower her down. This one also has an automatic kickoff for the clutch once it gets down to the low point past the cut, it'll knock the clutch lever out. I say it's running a little slow right now, so I'm using a gear reduction motor. It should go a little bit faster than this. This right down here is the engagement clutch lever. And we'll kick her out once. You can see it's done. So I got a little more work to her, but she's working again. And hopefully I'll have the rest of it repaired and get my line shaft up. That's it.